Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber C today. Today's topic is, should I wait three days after my first date to contact someone? What do you think about this? Do you think this is still happening? Like, this is a really old rule. It's about as old as the rule that you should be sleeping with somebody after the third date. This is one thing that I find really screws people up and, and puts them back in the dating mode of being really freaked out about everything. They haven't dated for a long time, they're getting back out there and they, they have all these things in their head about what they're supposed to do, what they're not allowed to do. And this confuses people. It also puts a lot of pressure on someone because they think they have to do something by a certain timeline. You are in charge of how you let your dates proceed. Don't let anybody tell you that you have to do anything by a certain time frame. Don't stress yourself out about that. If you like someone and you're really lustfully attracted to them, you're a grown person. You can make the decision on whether you want to sleep with them or not. You can also make the decision on holding back. Sometimes it's better to do that because you're taking time and getting to know someone before you let your emotions come into play, especially for a lot of women. We're very emotionally connected to when we're physically attracted to someone and we're sleeping with them. So it can really change a lot of things about how we perceive the relationship. Sometimes it can make us clingy way too early. If you step back and just take some time, get to know somebody and, and see if you really want to go there with them, you're going to have much better results in the long haul. I know that there's people out there who say, well, I'm not waiting around for somebody for like three months to, to have sex with them. I'm taking off. Well, that's your prerogative. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to stick around if, you're, if that's what you're into. If you find somebody that you really connect with, but you want to take it a little bit slower to get to know them, to see if there's substance between within the two of you as a couple, I think this is really smart to do that. And I think as you get a little bit more jaded from dating or you've you've had maybe a lull in your dating life you can think with more clarity about what you want to do the next time around and I say do what you want to do do not sit there and have to live your life because somebody put it out there that you're supposed to call somebody within three days and you're supposed to sleep with them within the three date rule this is something that really exasperates me because I honestly believe that you're your own person and you make your choices on what works for you. You might meet somebody that you're just like ugh, crazy, crazy about and it really clicks fast. But I've always said in a lot of my blogs and my videos in the past, and this is usually the case, that when you go in fast to a relationship, you usually come out just as fast because there's so many more expectations that are put into a new relationship once you've gone to bed with them. You have, women especially, I think, will have more expectations about what they want from their guy because they've given themselves. It's sacred to them, to a lot of women, before they can express themselves in a sexual way with somebody. So in answer to this question that I've had quite a few times about these rules and what should you be following, what you know, is, is somebody going to run away because you don't do these rules that have been out there for years? If they're going to run away because they have an expectation of what some cliche line that's been around for 30 years and you're not meeting that requirement, let them go because they're placing way too much importance on what they think it should be rather than how it's unfolding. Look at each other Spend time, really, seriously, I can't stress this enough to, to get to know somebody on a slower basis. You'll be so much happier down the road and you can actually answer questions about who this person is that you're dating. You actually know them. How many times have you slept with somebody really quickly and somebody asks you about them and you can barely tell them anything? Because your whole priority was been to get them in this sexual sort of way. And so that's where your relationship goes. It's always about sex. And that's not bad. I'm not saying it's a horrible thing. Sometimes we just want to go there and that's all we want. But if you're looking for a full-time committed relationship, 
take your time don't worry about any rules that somebody's laid out in front of you follow what feels good for you never ever feel pressured to do anything you don't want to do there you have it from cyber Sue. thanks everyone for tuning in today please leave your comments below this video like the video and i love it when you subscribe and i appreciate you for doing so thanks so much take care bye